Are we live? I figured you would tell me. I have no idea. All I know is that right now we are one minute and 55 seconds late for the show. Let's get this show on the road. Scotch fan, hello. Yes, you were first today. That is a thing if you want it to be a thing. I feel like all the people who say first in videos before they even start and do the comment thing, they, they just want to be first. I get it. It's totally okay. And uh, Votary, hello. Welcome to the show. As you guys know, today, we're going. as you don't know, maybe you do. I don't know what Charles titled this video. Anyways, we're going to be talking about the different regions of Scotland, and we're going to be going through some of the whiskeys in those regions because it's fun and because it gives us topics to talk about. So... <laughs> So without further ado, today will be the first of a five slash six part series. We'll talk about that in the show. Um, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Highlands, like where uh, the Highlander comes from, Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod, cutting people's heads off. So let's do this. Charles, I know what you're thinking. This is a whiskey show. Dang, that was a deep pop of a bottle, huh? It's almost done. That happens oh. with the base. Man, um, that was a lot of base. Kind of finish off the uh, last bit of Dalmore 15. Ooh, that's the one that's got a little bit of cumin to it. It's an interesting one. I don't know if I'm going to buy it again, but I'm definitely going to have to pick up another Dalmore to have, like, just get the King Alexander and be done. I already had the King Alexander, so I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no, I'd go back to it. You're not missing anything the other way. Oh, yeah, it's a minion shirt. Talking about. Uh, oh. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you ever meet Charles in person, he's actually the same height as a minion. Um, yeah, he actually I would, I would came say from that. the same place. He used to work for Gru, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't started work working out. over here. Work out, man. He's basically an independent contractor now. It's pretty great. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, but yeah, no, um, since you know what I'm drinking, what are you drinking, man? Everyone else, what's, uh, all right. What's in your glass, guys? Yeah, what's in everybody else's glass in chat? What's going on? What's up, Kevin? What's up? Oh, hey, look, it's Lisa Whiskey. Pagusta. What's up, Tov? All right. So, um, into this glass, I know it's supposed to be bland because it's what I took a picture of today, but I actually bought something else completely different in the glass. Uh, and then I let my brother have some and I was like, hey, how do you like that? Oh, yes, you're drinking the Wilderness Trail Raw, yes. So I sent him a sample. It's so good. So uh, I let my brother try this, and I was like, hey, tell me what you think of this. So he starts sipping it. He's like, man, this is really good. This is a good, you know, bourbon sipper. Like, it's got good classic bourbon notes, and it's really doing a good job. And I was like, you know what this is? And he was like, no. I was like, it's just regular Buffalo Trace. Huh. Or pick or just regular? Regular 1.75 liter of Buffalo Trace for $26 at Costco. So oh, interesting. I, I think people don't understand. It's it's funny because immediately me and my brother started talking trash about the 10 and the 12 Old Rip Van Winkle. Mm -hmm. But it's like the regular Buffalo Trace, in my honest opinion, in my humble opinion, is easily better than the 15 down for PVW. Like 15, 12, 10, trash can, just drink Buffalo Trace. And I think that might be because <laughs> of the fact that the name has gone so synonymous with expensive and luxury and stuff like that, that back in the day, it probably has no contestant, right? Those yeah. were great. But then with them thinning out the herd and just picking up select barrels and then having that name tag that will just automatically sell, I think it kind of went down. My opinion. Probably. Wouldn't doubt it. Oh, zucchini shirt? Yeah, yeah, man, my zucchinis are going crazy. Sizzle, sizzle Willer quality goes away. But, you know, um, did you pick up any <sighs> bottles this week? Um, I've been very uh, relaxed, but I did get a surprise, so. I have been ordering more car parts. <laughs> and what's funny is, um, and I've been doing a lot of computers, computer parts, so it's kind of like it's we're, terrible. we're going towards our different. We've been, yeah, we've been doing these other hobbies that yeah. has been taking the money. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's funny because, like, I wouldn't think about upgrading my PC. Got a video <laughs> keyboard. I got real jealous because my brother got an exhaust and he put it on his car, and then I was like, oh my god, I need more stuff. So, no, that, so. That's interesting. So, um, you were nice enough, and Steve, if you're in chat, uh, I finally, after a year and something... Oh, that's my bad. I don't even want to talk and about something, Steve's glass. I have your glass, That's Steve. such my... To be fair, you didn't get the first one because of the broken one, so, I mean, it, 
It's just hilarious because I'm like, what's this? What did, did uh, Scotch and Sniff do new glasses? And I'm like, oh, it's Steve's glass from like a year or two ago. <sighs> that I could have picked up when I was there in your house, but I did not. Yeah, it's funny. Also, my back. Oh, Bourbon County Stout um, 2018. That sounds good. And then. And so does Cavalan. Oh, I got a Placencia cigar ashtray because I've been eating an ashtray and you've had an extra one. You want to you hear something crazy? I went to my local cigar shop to go pick up some cigars the other day because I ran out of shorts and I yep. ordered more, but it takes forever to get here. They sell those ashtrays for $25 a pop. And I said, they come free with the boxes. Yeah. And they were like, oh, no, we just take them off of the boxes. And I was like, is this oh. a joke? Like, wow. That's a, that, that's kind of jippish. Come right? on, like, that's store? Jippy. And even that's telling you that? Up. Like, oh, we didn't know that. Uh, I thought they That's were... messed up. And then, for some weird reason, you sent me Humidor. Ooh, which I don't understand. I think we all... What's inside of there? Wait, you sent me the wrong one. What's inside of it? There's no cigars in it. Nah. -uh. No, he gave you some Kaviva shorts. But like, oh my god, <laughs> his face, dude. Oh I thought you were gonna send me some placentia, so I was like, oh, placentia's thought... gonna be here. Oh, I totally forgot to put placentia. <laughs> oh my gosh, I sent you the Kaviva shorts. I forgot to put anything else in there. Oh my god, you, you, oh. I, I still owe you a package anyway, but. Flipped out inside because I was like, wait, didn't I put cigars in there? I was like, I thought I did. Uh, just a little thing. We've been talking about sharing each other's, giving each other cigars the whole, like, past couple of months. <laughs> oh my god. And finally. again, thank you for the cards. I actually collect playing cards too. So actually. Yeah, those are, those are the ones you talked you? about. Look, I haven't even cracked mine because you tagged me in the thing to win them. And I was like, I don't know anything about these playing cards. But then I cool. saw what they were doing. So they've done a second edition for cigars since then. Yeah. But they look really awesome. No, they're um, King's they came with sample Wild cards. I already cool. took them out of there. They look really, really awesome. Yeah, King's Wild Project. Just cool yeah. playing cards. Hey, Mold Montreal. Kevin, see how you doing? Um, so yeah, no, Ooh. that I got a little care package. Uh, to be honest, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, with all the COVID stuff going down, it brightened up my day. I had actually an interview that day, so it kind of boosted up my confidence a little bit. Yeah. So. Ooh. Yeah. But um, yeah, so um, and then one thing I want to talk about, and I think this might be a bit controversial mm. to a bunch of you guys today. Um, so I've been seeing this picture flowing around of Johnny Walker Black in a paper carton, milk carton. Mm -hmm. It's a milk carton, Johnny Walker Black for kids. No, mm -hmm. it is. It's a milk carton, Johnny Walker Black Lives Matter for kids. That's what it is. Joking? <laughs> I'm like. Really? I'm like, I didn't see that part. <laughs> it's it's specifically so kids can also enjoy next to their chocolate milk, Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it, it's an interesting concept of, and I don't know if it's a cart, like a plastic carton, or is no. it a um, 100 percent recycled paper? And they said they're using zero plastic, which blows my mind. But in my head, I'm like, glass is recyclable. Correct. But I, they're claiming that glass creates too much carbon dioxide. Which is crazy because it's still recyclable. Yeah, but then you have to ship it. That's car causing way more carbon dioxide. Well, yeah, but now they're saying it takes less weight to ship the paper cartons. All right. Yeah, they figured out everything, eh? There's, there's a lot of stuff that they posted online. There's a lot of people that they, it's only for high consumption bottles like Johnny Walker Black. But still, I would love to see the effects of alcohol on paper, on paper. cartons it's like, over time because it's if, not going to last like a glass bottle. Yeah, and if you guys don't know, like. <clears throat> With can bo uh, cans anyway, there is actually a lining inside the can so you don't get the metallic taste. That Correct. There's a plastic a liner. Yeah. So I'm wondering if they have something like that. Because even milk breaks down, breaks the carton and stuff like that. You've had those old milk cartons where it's kind of like it stays in there. that has a little fluffy stuff. I don't let milk sit that long. No, no. It's not even letting sit. It's just like <laughs> the top part of it. Like when you, when you like push the thing open or you know what I'm talking about? Oh, like the little crusty ones at the top where it's yeah, dry? Yeah, the little crusty, it's yeah. Just, that's, that's just dried milk. Oops, yeah. sorry. But yeah, no, it, it's interesting. I'm surprised that they're trying to do that. I I don't think the whiskey industry as a whole, instead of the, I know the, the process of making whiskey, whiskey is trying to get more and more green. I understand that part, right? When we went to Scotland, they were talking about how like they're reusing certain things and the water's going somewhere and the cooling stuff and all that kind of, of stuff, course. right? But yeah. packaging, besides the box, like I don't think there's anything of a waste. I mean, yeah, as long as you keep the glass bottle and right? glasses again recyclable, and recyclable, so. so you can you can yeah, it, it, and even those cardboard boxes are recyclable. It, it makes no sense. 
Yeah, that's well. That's... Somebody, so I put up that poll. Like, do you think it's a good idea or a dumb idea on Instagram? Yeah. And somebody was like, "Hey, uh, it, you know, it's it's just Johnny Walker, and they're they're going to tarnish their own name by doing this." And I was like, "Tarnish their name? It's Johnny Walker Black." Like, there's nothing to tarnish. It's not 2049. It's just yeah. regular black. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think it, instead of getting like the big handles, which I think if you're drinking a lot of Johnny Walker Black, just get a handle. It makes sense. Yeah, and those people do, of course. But I, I need just, my scotch, but just just this blend. I, I just don't, I, I never got it. And I saw it and I was like, this is a April joke in July. So they're just doing it early so they can catch up because they missed it this year. So they're throwing it forward. Yeah, I, and I, I'm throwing it to you guys over there in chat. Like, you think it's even worth it? Like, are you gonna buy? Well, well, you're probably gonna buy it just for the sake of buying it, aren't you? Of course. So just like about the uh, Jane Walker, I just bought it because. Yeah, I just want to bring that up because it was interesting. Not? I saw it a lot yesterday <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, I think it was like two days. So I just want to bring the news and then uh, jump into uh, topic today. Uno mento, uno mento, oh, uno yeah, mento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, speaking of blends, Tolv drinking the new uh, single cast nation ten year Edrington blend. Didn't know this was a thing. Kind of jealous. Throwing that out there. All right, back to the show. My bad. Oh no, no. yeah. So, um, Wally really wanted to talk about um just different parts of Scotland, just because of the fact that, <clears throat> like you mentioned before, we can't go there. So it'd be nice to just like brush up on some history, some stuff about it, interesting facts. Um, we thought maybe do it in one show or make it into multiple shows. So we kind of broke it down like, hey, you know, it's gonna it'll be basically a full thirty minutes, even to an hour for like space side alone. Imagine like islands being so large and yeah a lot of peat heads into isla so um we're trying to break it down um island is a really interesting Isla would be so easy so for you but... isla right this is how they make their whiskeys so there's all these cats that actually exist on the island it's one of the highest populated density of cats on the planet right and what they do it <laughs> is thanks to the high density of cats and the number of cats that need to have their anal glands expressed what they do is so to put into those stills they just express the anal glands of the cats it goes right in the stills and then that's how you get lafroig there you go did you want to know that i mean that's that's fact there's that (laughs) but yeah no so telling you how isla does it (laughs) we just want to break it down um so i I know a bunch of you guys know this already but this is gonna be for the newcomers or people just you know hey i didn't know that interesting fact so um gonna transition over so we have over here. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm down there. But uh, yeah, so um, islands, right? So uh, northern part of Scotland. Um, funny thing is that Speyside is part of Highland. So you're gonna get that uh, weird, is that a Highland whiskey or is it a Speyside whiskey? All Speyside whiskeys are Highland whiskeys. There's that. Correct. What else? Break some knowledge down. I didn't know what else you wanted to do. So. Yeah. The entire area above the lowlands is obviously highlands. So that's all of the entire area going all the way up to the top, the very top north part of the mainland of Scotland, right? So there's, well, it, technically this is all part of the UK because you got you got England going on down there. But you've got all of this that's considered the highlands. And the only reason why Speyside got its own designation is because half of all the distilleries in the highlands are in Speyside. It's like 300 distilleries, which is kind of kind of crazy, but... It is not how it's like all in that area. And Yeah, they just all ended up... because Because... So water is abundant there. Um, when they had the train system that was running around Scotland, it was easy for them to get things transported. So that was easy to get there. So transportation was important back in the day. A little less so nowadays, but still very important. And then, I mean, those are like the main points of why Space I wanted to break off and do its own thing. Plus, you know, exclusivity of being your own Scottish region instead of there yeah. being four. Now there's five. And so... I, it's interesting how they did that. And it's interesting things like I'm, you know, when you're a beginner and you're drinking whiskey and you have like McAllen and you're like, Oh, it's a Highland malt. And then you go there and it's like in the heart of space side right next to Craig Ellicke, And you're like, huh? <laughs> like this doesn't make any sense. But yeah, again, like, like Charles already said, like all space siders are Highlands, but not all Highlands are space siders. There's a lot more stuff going on in the Highlands that really isn't talked about. And Lucky for me and Charles, we got to go to some of those distilleries, and we're gonna talk about them today. Somebody already brought one up in chat, which is be, exciting. To be honest, like um, <laughs> blah blah blah, Pete. <laughs> the Highlands are such a big breadth and uh, of a region, and when you think about it, like a lot of people, are like okay, if you go like we mentioned before, you go Isla, you know there's gonna be most likely some peat element, right? That uh, mm-hmm. the iodine type seaside peat. 
but uh yeah. and then you go space eyes more like lighter sweeter kind of that's what kind of like fruitier people are known for right islands is kind of different yeah. like when i thought about it, like so i have about four or so bottles down here they're all kind of different and this is their core range right so it's it's really interesting how different they are from each other. what do you absolutely. think absolutely because it's so uh, trying to put certain flavor profiles into regions the only place that works is isla and maybe lowlands if you really want to Scotland and be like, yeah, you know, you want to get whiskey that doesn't taste I, like anything, or Bladnock, good lord. Well, I think, but like, <laughs> space side, you could probably could, you could probably, I want to say, you could all say light them. and fruity, but then, yeah, you yeah, could, that's the thing. You it's can like, give like a how many of them in that? Yeah, how many of them in that area though are, are a little over? You know, there. I mean, there's peated whiskeys that come out of space side. There's whiskeys with weird, you know, t- I mean, I'm trying to think of some weird ones because there's just interesting stuff that's in space side that. Uh, you you know what I will. Uh, concede and agree with you that space side probably is more like the fruity lighter i'm just saying majority i'm not saying everything Scotland. i'm just saying this is majority. yeah it's, or what the yeah, big it's brands like signature, that people right? know for yeah there you go yeah i'll go with that that makes sense yes that makes sense but yes yeah, it's just because the rest of highlands is like because they're still in highland but the rest of highlands is all over the place yeah and, and i think that's what's interesting about it like when we when we attack when we wanted to tackle this I was like, all right, let me see what bottles I had. So I actually have a list over here. You have a list of how your mustache disappeared and now Gregor is losing his mind? No one's talking about that. Uh, yeah, Kevin, I'd agree. Like Highland Whiskey definitely has the least consistent characteristics because it's so spread out over the like so, over so much land. There's actually a list that I have of like all these Highland I see it here. And it was interesting. I I went through the list and tried to pick all the bottles I had. And it was it was kind of fun and even have the uh, owner kind of know where it's coming from yeah if you want to get super dorky when i first started getting into scotch i literally had a list printed out at my desk of all the distilleries that were listed on some website i found and i would highlight them as i bought bottles from those distilleries so i could know like how much of scotland am i really trying yeah no no and I, and I think that well this is more just for like me trying to learn more things like especially of places that i don't know but like yeah you guys can't see that at least so you know like those kind of things so just kind of my wikipedia knowledge going through but uh yeah so let let's uh do you have any bottles you have bottles ready right i do right, and you already yeah. pulled the clanalish boom so clanalish is the first one uh it's interesting the character of clanalish because you know it's got like that waxier more viscous type malt which is cool and of course clanalish is much more famous for brora uh of anything for a while there uh brora had distillery issues and couldn't actually distill where they were. So they were distilling at Kleinalish, and Kleinalish was actually making peated whiskey. So the, the story of Brewer is a weird one, but that's also Highland. Um, you know, obviously, close distillery. They're trying to reopen. I think Diage is reopening it. And I guess I'm going to pull a bit to where, um, as we mentioned earlier, Highlands is a bit of a mix of everything. It pulls from a surrounding region. You'd say that. Um, I've opened yeah. Which is interesting because it pulls towards its Isla friends. It's so close to Lowlands too, <laughs> right? So it's like it has a yeah. light with the smoke, and it's it's interesting how like just I love geography. The smoke and it's like how it is together. It's like hey, I'm I'm gonna take a bit of this, take a bit of that, and I'm gonna blend it together. And I think so. Oben, good. What's up? Good. I was just gonna say Oben was like super super featured on the TV show Newsroom, and like. It's the smoky characteristic without being peated is something that Oban does like incredibly well. And I think it does a really good job of balancing the sherry. And I think it's really Oban 14 and 18 to me are kind of underrated. Oh man, I haven't had this in the yeah. <laughs> I know it's just another Diageo brand, but it, it's good. Yeah, so and that's where I think a lot of people, I, I don't think people are shunning Highlands. I don't think it's, it doesn't come to the forefront. And I think having these type of brands like, borrowing certain parts of it like i think in open anyway in, in enhancing it yeah it's, it's, it's definitely a Just, favorite yeah and making it different because so if you go all the way oh, i don't know should we talk about how a distillery calls itself the most northernmost distillery in but scotland that exists in wick but it's not because of a new distillery that came up that's actually the most northernmost now well, yeah we'll do that we'll do that so um completely different profile okay. uh You've got lots of salinity. It tastes like the ocean. Nobody knows why. Of course, it's next to the ocean. The ocean. Uh, but it's Old Pulteney up in Wick. 
and just flavor profile ridiculously fruity so more like a space cider but then ridiculously uh like light smoke but tons of salinity so that's more like nobody else I, I don't know who else is rocking salinity except for maybe like buna buna rocks I think salinity that's like this. where i go i go straight buna definitely rocks salinity like this but yeah so old pulling does just an incredible job um yeah there's such a cool distillery and i would say that they were the most north distillery in scotland but a new distillery came up called wolfburn that uh is just up the road from them yeah. which is so further yeah, up so north old pulling right here up in wick yep right up here wolfburn just a little bit further north it's kind of funny because oh. Wolfburn went a completely different direction. They've got a fruity spirit, but they took it and they were like, you know what, let's age it in like Lagavulin casks. And so you've got this like slightly peated, but definitely not from Isla type peat. It's just really good, which is more like uh, Brook Laddie, you know, yep. minus Octomores. But no, and, and it's yeah. interesting. Too, Highlands like are how... all over the place. Uh, it... I'm surprised that they talk about how like this is the northernmost, this northernmost. Like we all know that there's uh, because they up don't here. realize that there's an island right above called Orkney that's even more northern. Like, yeah, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> okay, they guys. just mean on the mainland. <laughs> yeah, you have to put a caveat there, the asterisk there. It's just a pee pee contest. But yeah, so like, let's 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 drop down. I'm, I'm assuming yeah, you have one of these. So like, we're go it seems like we're working our way down. So um, <laughs> you have a Bow Blair. Oh yeah, yep. yep. Got so, a Bow Blair because they're. This profile, can we talk about this for a second? Which one? This is like... What are you talking about? This is the 1990. This one? This is the freaking Sherry oh. Bomb of Sherry Bombs. You know what's up. You know what's up. That one? <sighs> it is such a Sherry Bomb. It makes so many Space Side distilleries look bad. Oh, my gosh. It's so I delicious. Damn, Ben. All right. You know where you are. Um, well, yeah, that's the, that's his thing. Didn't you see his, uh, his little, his little email? Thing, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, um, He's in love with Armagnac. to be yeah. honest, uh, Bow Blair was never really on my radar until you and Steve kind of be like, Hey, you know, try it, try it out, try it out. And then we because visited I went there and I fell in love, which was amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, um, you actually got a tour this time instead of just sitting down and drinking, which is fun. <laughs> but, um, no, it was, it was a great experience. Um, had a great time. Saw them labeling barrels, got a one-on-one -on -one tour. It was just was amazing and it was interesting to see like i think we were there when they just released their new bottlings yep so um we got they to try just... some of their new stuff or i did and you including the later, 25 which was amazing <laughs> yeah. um i did notice that they're definitely focusing on more american oak and i think um uh, who is the master still right that's uh john mcdonald yeah, but so that's he, he was fo and he knows all scotland right now yeah and, and it's interesting because he said like how much of a stockpile they do have so um definitely if you guys are in the area or if you ever see a bottle of babbler go go take it's worth a risk it's worth a, it's worth a little try absolutely and definitely so we definitely fell in love with how it is how how, how they yeah the and it was a bit of a drive, bottles so Oh, it's a heck of a drive. <laughs> that drive's drive not even bad way. compared to going. That was halfway to Wick. That wasn't even that bad. Like, well, then again, I wasn't driving, so I'm good. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was and one we, of my and we did get it, and did we, we did get a deer tick or some type of tick. Oh my gosh, that, that was, was actually fun. really scary. That was not a good time. All right. Uh, the last two bottles I have are both like uh, they're also Highland, but they're like the sweeter side of Highland. Where, where are we traveling to? Much more. I want to. Uh, right around that same area, actually. Uh, both of these distilleries are. Uh, the first one will be this cheap piece of trash with the, um, as you can see, the, the painted on deer here, the, which obviously of the isn't. brand new. Yeah, it's 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 obviously not any good, but uh, just a bunch of it's food coloring in a bottle, so it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> so so that means it's gonna be sweet and has a, I do a different this. flavor profile. I do enjoy actually this no I. I, I can't knock the King Alexander because I do enjoy that very, very much. But the 12, 15, 18, as I've said before, just pick your poison. It's, yeah, I, I mean, unless, personally. Unless like, you set them down side by side. I like splitting in the middle act the 15. But then again, I'll even right, say the 25. They're very, they're very similar. The 25 is similar too. But yeah, and they're on our, their own little, I want to say island, on, like enclave. 
Uh, island. No, they're right. They're right. No, they're right near Dornock Firth. Yeah. So the it's yeah, a couple of them are right there. Which is interesting because they're all kind of near each other, and then. But yeah, and their flavors are totally different. Um, if you guys uh, do have the opportunity, you do have the money, the King Alexander is definitely a recommend. I think from both of us. Absolutely. Um, just because it's fan over there the mentioned about the the cigar malt, I sadly was not a fan. I would pick so the interesting over. is a good word for it because I when I bought it, I cracked it and I was like, and this is going on the shelf. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't a fan. I was lucky enough that a friend uh, let me sample when he just bought the bottle, so he spent his money. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, that's why yeah. you're talking about John McDonald with the uh, ex bourbon barrels because twelve gobbler got ruined with the new bottlings. Not ruined, just totally different. Ru- I, ruined is they they. They got rid of it because they thought the vintages were too difficult for people to keep track of the ages. And I mean, and, they were because like yes. the 1990 had like three different ages that were available. Yeah. So, so with I think it was with the buy. Oh, um, yeah, with that ch- with the bottle change. Yes, it was with removed, the buy. Was it with the buy? Yeah, it was when the ta- uh, Taiwanese bought them. Was it? Yeah. So they just wanted to do a full revamp, and then they they did say that the vintages were confusing people and even confusing yeah. their staff because they had to have a cheat sheet say that oh this one is like this year and it was in this so it did give them a lot of confusion Uh, a lot of collectors enjoyed that because then you can find your year bottles i know a lot of people like that but in my honest opinion i did feel as though that you're oh crap i have to do the math and then you have to figure out when it was bottled and check it it's just math i'm just a little biased (laughs) wow scotch poultry oh interesting yeah that's weird vettery i do like the um the king. Hey, to each his own, right? It's a different palette of four. Yeah. I All only right. have one more bottle, so. I got one more. Is it the same? I actually got two more. Just count to three and then I will just pop it up and see what happens. I think it's a different one. Oh, no, it's the same. One, two, three. Oh, the signet. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah, Glenmo. So, um, and they always talk about the, having the longest still. So I enjoy like Glenmo. Probably more than most of the distilleries that are in the Highlands because of their willingness to experiment with their private yeah. editions. Yeah, I just realized how little I you have don't think it, You don't think it's a bit really, of a gimmick, really though? Uh, I'm going to be honest here. Like, sometimes no, because, I think it's a bit of a because gimmick. It, I don't think it's a gimmick because it really shows, like, it really shows the power of casks over the influence oh, of flavors. I, and I it does such a good job. But I feel like, as though that, that signature collection line is definitely... It's, one pushing the envelope, I understand, but also something yeah. it's a bit of, a bit gimmicky when it, with certain things. With certain yeah, to ones. me, if anything is the gimmick, it's the regular ten and then the the, the trio, because like yeah, okay, I do like the cool. ten, um, just for the fact that you can use it for comparing for comparing purposes. I actually don't like the ten. Really? I, for me, I, I think it's more of like, oh, hey, here's a ten year old. This is what they can do normally, and then here's a here's what a different cast does. To you. What something? Else. Yeah, with a couple more years in it. Yeah. yeah, but that's like the best that's part of the private good. edition is like, let's go ham. You know, you want to know what Malmsey Madeira cast tastes like completely? You want to know what red wine cast can really do in terms of like candy sugar flavors? Yeah. Like, let's let's do it. And then for me, the bottle you have, the Signet, is probably one of the bottles that always one on my shelf. Tried it multiple times. I give it as a Yeah, so I agree with Scotch Fan there is like, it, he does do a really good job of the, the experiments. And so, like, it would be gimmicky if it was, like, a one-off. I'm trying not to throw other brands under the bus while I sit here and think about it. But it would be gimmicky if it was, like, a, a one-off thing and they only did it one so, time. And it was like, let's just try this weird thing. And, but and, he's always experimenting with cast, trying to, like, find some new type of flavor. And, Scotch Fan, this is where I think it. Do you, do you uh, search out more of the experimental line or their core range? And that's why I think it's gimmicky. Like, you can make such an amazing core range with some of the stuff that you have that you can, yet you rather do... I'm they do both. Gimmicky. They, they do both. I, and like I feel as though if, if you're known more for your special editions than your core brand... My opinion. Uh, I'm thinking of a couple other brands now that are like that. Oh, I know, and, I, and we all know them. <laughs> and, that, and, that's, and that's the thing, right? Like, I feel as though that... And and this is where I think a lot of the older generation Scotch drinkers. I want your core brand. That's what I care about. Not hip yeah. happening. That's mm. that's my opinion. It's not like I don't enjoy it because I do enjoy it. The and, until until the core favorites. brand changes so much, you can't recognize it. No. All right. 
Um, I got um, one more left, and I think one of our friends was drinking this. Um, single cast nation Ben Nevis, which I've been seeing a lot. I was of now. I was gonna grab a Ben Nevis, and I left it on the shelf. Is it just me, or have you been seeing a lot of independent bottlers? Uh, uh, you know, sending stuff out now. With Ben Nevis. Ben Nevis, yeah. Uh, a brand Not that I've really heard about. Every other weirdo. But um, I'm seeing more and more popularity, more and more releases coming. Hmm. Interesting, because it was a um, a closed distillery or independent distillery it wasn't really much blends, I think. Okay, I don't know any of Ben Nevis's history. Yeah, no. Um, I think it's owned by. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's owned like, by Nika like now. Beam Centauri. No, Nika. Oh, owned by Nika? It's owned by Nika now. So uh, a lot of that, a lot of those barrels are going to Japan. So um, yeah. Ben Nevis is the highest mountain in Scotland. Hello, facts. Go oh, Kevin C with that. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, I think probably a couple of years ago, I'd be hearing about it. Never really saw any bottles, and then found out that they were more of making barrels or filling barrels up for. Japanese consumption and uh, um, uh, purchasing Cast Nation um, in a blind tasting, it was a second or third best out of. Tw- wow. to enjoy. Drew. Drew. To each his own. Man. To each his. To each. To each his own. And also it depends what cigar you're smoking. You ever, um, you ever come to the DC area? You can drink mine. <laughs> I think I've had one pour out of it. Very nice. <laughs> but yeah, so that's just a small portion, and what's funny is. It's basically <clears throat> on the coastal side that we had talked about, except for um, um, I think a lot of it is, yeah, yeah, a lot of it's around that space side area as we're talking about. Again, a lot of it is like where the old train system used to go around. Yeah, you know, like yeah. around the island. Yeah, but yeah, no, like so Benemis over here, Oban's over here. We talked about <clears throat> Wolfburn, Opal, Royal Kind of Leash, Dalmore. Um, but yeah, no, it, and it's, the funny thing is that, it look, and if you look at all these, just always next to a strong water source. So, yep. a fun little fact, um, we, when we traveled around, I think Master Chile Anok was telling us a story about some, uh, I think it was people trying to swim in yeah. every water source, source of uh, a distillery. Sadly, um, Anok doesn't have one nearby, so they jumped into the worm tubs. So, um, crazy. that was a little fun little <clears throat> tidbit, and it's, it's really interesting, like, going there, understanding these things. Something that I'm sad that we're not able to hear. Hopefully, um, there's a little void. Hopefully, the other series. You go back and visit Gordon Bruce again, who remembers Dude, my brother, even? That's I would crazy. go back, for sure, because that was it's such so a much fun, fun time, and then I think I'm going to get a drone, too. Because <laughs> that was fun. And him pictures. getting a net or a shotgun and trying to shoot her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope okay. you guys like this little um, you know, little slice of Scotland. Um, it allows us to take a look at Ooh. some of our shelves and uh, pull some bottles from different areas. Um, let us know if there is a distillery in the Highlands that you really enjoy. Um, Scotch fan, go. Yeah, go. no, it, it's wor- it was well when, worth it. When everything opens back up, dude, go. I think it was around. I think such a good time. I think I paid around maybe. Two. I don't even think it was that. Yeah, so less than two grand. You get out there, meet some like-minded people. Uh, it's fun to geek out a about scotch. Try a lot of haggis. I think that's what we did. Up. Yeah, <laughs> which was awesome because it seems like we needed an own Instagram account just for haggis. Um, I'm so addicted. It, it, yeah, and the funny thing is, like both of us enjoy haggis, so it would be really weird. I mean, it's banned um, in America. I can't have any, and it tastes so good. So, but yeah, no, definitely go. Um, and a little tip, reach out to your brand ambassadors. Reach out to the Instagram Absolutely. accounts of these brands because they're more than happy to help you guys out. Kind of cater an experience. Absolutely. Um, any other things about the Highlands? Yes, it's the largest basic region of Scotch. And, um, so unique and... Um, I'm glad we're starting off with this for the series. Um, it's going to be very interesting. What happens? Um, what do you mean, Alan? Oh, McCallum will get thrown into space side. We're just going to oh, throw yeah, it in space side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what it. It doesn't actually matter what it says on the bottle. It's in space side. Space side. Yeah. If Craig Alecky is space side, 
It says McAllen. It's right there. Yeah, they're right next to it. <laughs> it's on the same hill. <laughs> I was like, right here. We're going to talk about all this. Just because they... Just because they say Highland on their bottles doesn't mean they're Highland. I mean, they and, are and to Highland. To be honest, also. That's, that's what's the interesting part about it, right? It's the fact that... They're both. Both. Yeah. But um, both. they do call themselves like a separate... Kind of like, you know, with bourbon, you got Kentucky and then you got the rest. Bur- uh, you know, Kentucky, I mean, Tennessee. as long as it's made in America, right? But guys, uh, Tennessee anything Tennessee bourbon? Jack Daniels? Yeah. But, you know, that's... Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, um, I don't know if we're going to do this next week, but um, we are going to try and maybe once. A- you never know. Things might happen, man. You might have the tasting. Hey, you're right. I don't know. Random don't tasting know that you sent. Oh, I need to do that. So that's going to be a week long process. I'm just so saying. it's going to be fun. We got, uh, you already got your samples. You got your samples, right? Yeah, bro. You okay, just hold on to them for now. You didn't now. tell me that there were samples. I almost threw them out. Yeah, no, no, no. Just hold on to them for now because it's going to be a whole like, Instagram series. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, okay. But yeah, um, any suggestions? Again, Patreon supporters, thank you so darn much. I know it's been hard. So you much. Broken us, but thank you so much for you know putting your money out there, putting your support out there in like a physical form. Um. All you guys fancy, over there in fancy. chat, thank you so much for coming in, tuning in, making us part of your weekday. Um, hope you guys had a great Monday. <laughs> your weekday experience. Hey, man, some people hey, Monday, especially Tuesday. nowadays. Oh, I mean, like, you know, after Monday. Nobody knows what day it is anymore. It's so bad. But yeah, uh, again, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Um, bottle picture. Christian's not here to remind bottle us. Bottle picture. Like he did last week. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Cody, I didn't see you in chat, oh. man. So if you're watching this, what's yes. up? I'm so sad by these bottles. So many of them are so close to empty. This old Pony 21. It shows how much you care about. Like, look, Signet, look at this. Like, please, man. Signet's going to... This is not the first bottle of Bow Black 19. <laughs> I know. It's so hard to find now. I don't think there's any more left. I can find. Can you find any more? No. No, I can't. It just makes me sad. And most pantalones. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Paguse, Anok's actually part of Space Out as well, so... Yeah, Anok's a good time. Um, and on that note, which note is that? Deuces. And yes, I shaved my mustache. Haha. <laughs>